The United States is actively testing a specialized version of the F-35 fighter jet designed to address potential threats from China, particularly in the Taiwan Strait. The F-35 has already established itself as a premier combat aircraft, renowned for its versatility and advanced technology. Since its first use in combat by Israel in May 2018, the F-35 has proven its capabilities in various operations, including those by the U.S. Marine Corps in Afghanistan. As of June 2023, over 800 of 35 aircraft of various versions have been built, making it the world's most mass-produced fifth-generation fighter jet. This production scale ensures that the F-35 will likely remain a dominant force in aerial combat for years to come. The F-22 Raptor, another highly advanced aircraft, ceased production due to its high costs, leaving the F-35 as the primary focus for the U.S. and its allies. The F-35 program is undergoing continuous modernization, divided into two main packages, Technology Refresh 3, TR3, and Block 4. TR3 aims to enhance the fighter's computing systems to support new software, while Block 4 includes over 70 upgrades, such as new precision weapons, sensors, and electronic warfare systems. In January 2023, an upgraded F-35 with a new processor successfully completed its first flight, demonstrating improved performance and capabilities. Despite these advancements, the F-35 faces challenges in terms of armament capacity and missile range compared to Russia's fifth-generation Su-57 fighter. The current F-35 can carry four medium-range air-to-air missiles internally, but modernization plans aim to increase this to six missiles using a new launch system called Sidekick. Additionally, the F-35 will be equipped with advanced missiles like the AIM-260, which boasts a range exceeding 300 kilometers and speeds up to Mach 5. To enhance its operational range and maintain stealth, the F-35 might also receive conformal fuel tanks, particularly in the Israeli Air Force variants. However, adding external fuel tanks could compromise the aircraft's stealth capabilities. The combat radius and endurance of the F-35 are currently lower than those of the Su-57, highlighting the need for further improvements. The Adaptive Engine Transition Program, AETP, is another significant development, aiming to produce a three-stream adaptive engine that offers better fuel efficiency and increased thrust. This engine will likely enhance the F-35's performance, making it more capable in various combat scenarios. Furthermore, the U.S. Air Force is exploring the integration of unmanned wingmen controlled by the F-35. These drones could perform various roles, from reconnaissance to direct combat support, significantly expanding the F-35's tactical capabilities. This concept aligns with the Skyborg program, which aims to develop autonomous aircraft systems. While the F-35 may appear inferior to the Su-57 in some metrics, it's essential to consider modern combat dynamics, where stealth, electronic warfare, and network-centric capabilities are crucial. The F-35 excels in these areas, offering superior stealth and advanced radar systems that can detect enemy aircraft from greater distances. Its electronic warfare systems are also top-notch, although specific details remain classified. The sheer number of F-35 SOS in service with the U.S. and its allies also provides a significant strategic advantage. With over 800 units compared to Russia's limited number of Su-57S, the F-35's numerical superiority plays a crucial role in maintaining air dominance. As Napoleon once said, God favors large battalions, and this principle holds true in modern aerial warfare. The ongoing modernization and expansion of the F-35 program highlight its critical role as a cornerstone of U.S. and Allied air power. Despite certain areas where it may not match the capabilities of competitors like the Su-57, the F-35's extensive array of advanced technologies and its widespread deployment ensure it remains a formidable force in aerial combat. The program's focus on continuous upgrades, such as integrating more efficient engines through the Adaptive Engine Transition Program, AETP, and incorporating unmanned wingmen via the Skyborg Initiative, underscores its strategic importance. These advancements enhance the F-35's operational efficiency, stealth, and electronic warfare capabilities, securing its dominance in the skies. As modernization efforts persist, the F-35's role in maintaining air superiority and addressing emerging threats is solidified, 
ensuring its place as a pivotal asset in modern military strategy. As the modernization efforts continue, the F-35 will likely become even more formidable, solidifying its position as the king of the air for years to come. Advancements in laser propulsion technology are poised to dramatically reshape global military power dynamics. At the forefront of this technological revolution is China, a nation rapidly emerging as a dominant force in military innovation. While laser weapons have already made significant impacts in aerial combat, their novel application in submarines has caught the world by surprise. Laser propulsion uses directed energy from lasers to generate thrust, greatly enhancing the speed and maneuverability of military assets. This advanced technology shifts away from traditional fuel-dependent propulsion systems, offering several advantages in efficiency and sustainability. Traditional propulsion methods rely on combustion or chemical reactions, which are limited by the weight and volume of the required fuel, as well as environmental concerns. In contrast, laser propulsion works by heating a propellant, such as hydrogen or water, with a high-energy laser beam, causing the propellant to expand rapidly and create thrust. This process results in higher speeds and improved maneuverability with less fuel. One of the key benefits of laser propulsion is its reduction in fuel dependency, which makes military operations more sustainable and increases the operational range and endurance of vehicles. This technology also enables the design of lighter and simpler propulsion systems, enhancing the performance of military assets. Additionally, laser propulsion offers stealth advantages due to its lower thermal and acoustic signatures compared to traditional engines. This makes laser-propelled vehicles harder to detect and track, providing a significant tactical edge in modern military operations. As research progresses, laser propulsion is poised to play a crucial role in future military and space missions, driving strategic and tactical advancements. Unlike traditional propulsion methods that rely on combustion engines or nuclear reactors, laser propulsion systems use high-energy laser beams to heat a propellant, producing a jet of gas that propels the vehicle. This method offers a quieter, more efficient, and potentially faster means of propulsion. Over the past few decades, China has made substantial investments in its military capabilities, focusing on cutting-edge technologies to gain a strategic advantage. The country's rapid economic growth has enabled significant funding in research and development, particularly in defense technologies. China's military strategy includes modernizing its armed forces, and incorporating advanced technologies such as artificial intelligence, quantum computing, and now laser propulsion. These efforts are aimed at enhancing China's military strength and asserting its influence on the global stage. China's advancements in laser propulsion technology for submarines demonstrate its commitment to leading the next generation of naval warfare. By integrating this technology into their naval fleet, China is not only improving the operational capabilities of its submarines, but also signaling its intent to dominate the maritime domain. The development of laser-powered submarine is a clear indication of China's ambition to achieve technological superiority and redefine the balance of power in global military affairs. China's advancements in naval technology are part of a broader strategy to assert its dominance in the Indo-Pacific region. This region is critically important due to its strategic trade routes and significant natural resources. By enhancing its naval capabilities, China aims to secure its interests and exert control over these vital areas. The Indo-Pacific region is home to some of the world's busiest shipping lanes, including the Strait of Malacca, which is a crucial choke point for global trade. Control over these routes would give China substantial leverage in international trade and economic affairs. China's naval expansion has led to increasing tensions with neighboring countries and other global powers, particularly the United States and its allies who have significant strategic interests in the region. The U.S. has historically maintained a strong naval presence in the Indo-Pacific to ensure the free flow of trade and to counterbalance China's growing influence. As China continues to build up its naval power, including the development of advanced submarines and aircraft carriers, the potential for conflict in the region increases. The strategic importance of the Indo-Pacific also stems from its vast natural resources, including fisheries, oil, and gas reserves. By asserting its dominance over these waters, China seeks to secure access to these resources, which are vital for its growing economy. This ambition is reflected in China's assertive actions in the South China Sea, where it has built artificial islands and military installations 
to bolster its territorial claims. The growing military presence and activities in the Indo-Pacific by both China and the United States have raised concerns about a potential arms race and the risk of military confrontation. The international community is closely watching these developments, as any conflict in this region could have far-reaching implications for global security and economic stability. China's strategy in the Indo-Pacific is part of a larger geopolitical ambition to extend its influence and challenge the existing global order. By building a powerful and technologically advanced navy, China aims to project its power far beyond its regional waters, positioning itself as a global maritime power. This shift in naval dynamics is prompting other nations to reassess their own military strategies and to strengthen their alliances to counterbalance China's growing influence. As the situation continues to evolve, the Indo-Pacific region remains a critical focus of international diplomacy and security efforts. In addition to engine advancements, the U.S. Air Force is exploring the integration of unmanned wingmen controlled by the F-35. These drones can perform various roles, such as reconnaissance and direct combat support, significantly broadening the F-35's tactical capabilities. This initiative is part of the Skyborg program, which aims to develop autonomous aircraft systems that can work seamlessly with manned fighter jets. By incorporating these unmanned systems, the F-35 can leverage additional support and extend its operational effectiveness on the battlefield. While the F-35 may appear inferior to the Russian Su-57 in certain metrics, it's important to consider the modern combat environment, where stealth, electronic warfare, and network-centric capabilities are paramount. The F-35 excels in these areas, offering exceptional stealth and advanced radar systems that can detect enemy aircraft from greater distances. Its electronic warfare capabilities are also highly advanced, providing critical advantages in disrupting and countering enemy defenses. These features ensure that the F-35 remains a formidable aircraft in contemporary and future combat scenarios, emphasizing the importance of its continued development and modernization.